somebody else who's lost boxer, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, showed Cribs doing the thing, you know, when these TV programs go around your house, showing all your fucking glam and your and your glitz and all your shit fashion clothes and all that kind of stuff. Well, he's had people go. He showed the TV program around his house, showing him all the uh, all his bling and whatnot. And uh, he said he's got a great security system, so try and fucking break in if you dare. And what happened? He went away and somebody broke in and nicked everything. <laughs> Tempted fate. I mean, fucking, that, I, I can't stand fucking burglars. They're the scum, the scum of the earth. But um, they obviously, you know, he had, you know, they know people like him go away. It's not hard to fucking know if somebody's away because he's, if he's got a match or he's in a training camp and he's showed pretty much where his house is, easy pickings for somebody who's got fucking, uh, uh, who's brazen, which obviously they was. The good thing is that they broke in and hardly didn't nick any of uh, his good stuff. They nicked a lot of good stuff, but they didn't nick. He showed a watch that um, was like a fucking proper bling. I mean, I'd never wear it. Fuck it. I thought it was fucking crap. I like this one. I got the old fucking 1980s digital Casio, but he had like a bling fucking star studded watch, you know, not my kind of thing, but uh, it wasn't, Thousands, thousands, it was worth, and they missed it. So uh, he's buzzing that they fucking missed all the good stuff. But there you go. Don't advertise your shit, even when you got loads of money. Fucking, you know, stay fucking humble if you're going to show off with fucking that kind of stuff. People just can't wait to nick it off your back. Don't matter if you're famous or not. Um, did Ricky Atten get robbed of his watch in um, in China or somewhere? And he was the top of his game at the time. But the thing is, he was surrounded by four or five guys, so you've got to do it. And yeah, you've got to solve with that, or somebody might fucking stab you. So you're not worth taking the risk over a watch. Let it go. Anyway, um, nobody's going to nick my 1980s Cassio off me. Or somebody might come from the Back to the Future and come up and go, well, you know, that used to belong to me. I want it back before I get back in my time machine.